Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. Today got a new video for you. This one is to go through and help you get better performance on Fortnite Battle Royale. Actually, this will pretty much work on any game. So this will really help you out. If you have a lower end computer or if your game, your computer is struggling to run any games, this is the app for you. If you have a real higher end computer, it might not help you as much, but you may see a little bit of increase. Basically what we're talking about today is Razer Cortex. It's a program that helps your game defragmented and also your memory optimized. So I'm going to go through and show you how to download it. It's really simple to go through, get it, set it up, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. Here we are at the website. I do have the link in the description, by the way, if you just want to click it. You could also search Razer Cortex, spelled the way it is shown on the screen. Let's go ahead, we're gonna download it here and get it all set up. If you guys are new here, you like tech fixes, tutorials, and gaming, make sure you smack that subscribe button. And just for being here, have a smack. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So let's go ahead and we'll choose download here. And there we go, brings us right to the download page. Let's go ahead and just throw it on our desktop here. There we go, so we have it on our desktop here. We can go ahead and run it. I also have it here for Chrome. Let's go ahead and just double tap it. We'll say yes to this message here. And we don't need the website anymore, so we'll minimize that. Here we just wanna make sure Razer Cortex is selected. So let's go ahead and keep that selected and let's go ahead and hit install. Let's get started. It's gonna go through and install. So it'll just take a moment. And we're back. So it took about two minutes or so to go through and install. So we're back here. We're going to go ahead and just choose get started. It pretty much, you want to leave the check mark there so it launches it. Razor, Razor Cortex. You do have to create an account. So go ahead and create one. I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. So basically, what we did so far was we create an account. It does ask you to verify the email. Once you verify the email, it comes up here and please ask to make a unique uh, Razer ID to your account. I'll go through and change this and then we'll go and continue. Now that we have Razer open, we're just going to give it a moment. It's compiling some information, getting things ready. And it looks like it has my games here. These are the three games I'm trying out right now. Of course, you know, I play Fortnite. I play Realm Royale once in a while and No Man's Sky here and there. So this is our library. You can go ahead and open games from inside here if you like. You just go ahead and highlight it and choose play. So what we want to do next is go ahead and choose boost. And here we want to select everything that we want. So let me go ahead and just look over these real quick. That's good. That's good. Good. Uh, I think we'll leave this unselected. That's good. That's fine. That's definitely good. And yeah, we don't really need that one as well. So we're good with what the recommendation is here. So what we're gonna go ahead and choose is boost now. So it's going through, it's releasing memory. It's gonna go through and get us extra memory to play a game. And there it goes. So 1228 megs of memory was released. Go ahead and look through all the other things as well. See what's going on. It's probably stopped some services too. Let's go ahead and choose FPS next. You can show the FPS while in game. I already have that automatically for Fortnite, so we don't need that. But if you have another game, you can do that. Yeah, I don't think I need that either. Let's go ahead and choose System Booster. This looks like it's new. What we could do is scan. So we'll go ahead and choose scan. Now it's optimizing. I know it's probably defragging lots of games and things. For me, this part's not going to go through as help as much because I do have a solid state drive. So if you have a solid state drive, the defrag thing's not going to really help. But if you don't, it should help a good amount. We're still going to choose optimize, see what it can do for us. Nice, so it freed up uh, 1.6 gigs of free space. Also optimized 47 files. And like I said, it didn't defrag anything because the games are on a disk that is a solid state drive. So you couldn't do that part, but you can. And it'll let you know if it needs to. It'll just go through and do it. 
So everyone, that's the software. Just like that, it should boost your frames per second and make it run a lot smoother, especially if you have a lower end machine. If you have lots of things running in the background, this is awesome because it just gets rid of those. It slows down what you don't need. That way you have more power to run any game you'd like, like Fortnite. So check it out. It's absolutely free, which is awesome. This is not a sponsored video. It's just a really good program. So I thought I would let you guys know. A lot of people are saying they still can't get their machines to run Fortnite. So this is the next step after you've done my other video. If you haven't checked out my other video, I'll go ahead and link it up here for you. So you can go ahead and run through those steps. Between this and that video, you should be able to get a lot of machines up and running. Unfortunately, if you do both of these and you're still having problems, it's most likely your machine just can't handle it. You need a stronger graphics card, stronger processor, and it's just not going to happen. But hopefully it does for you. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your time, appreciate the view, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, and smack out.